Oh shit! One straight after, holy fuck! Come on, don't run! Oh! Holy fuck! I'm throwing a ball first because I'm getting sick of throwing rocks. Alright, didn't work. And it ran away. I wish mill tanks were in this game because I could catch a mill tank and, you know, offer it as some sort of sexual object towards Tauros and hopefully win it over that way. Or at least have it stick around long enough for me to. I don't know. Why do I have to catch him with Pokeballs? Why can't I lasso it and then, like, drag it on the ground and tie it to the back of that truck that's in that harbour? And then just, like, drag it to the Pokemon Center and force it into the PC that way. Why do I have to throw balls at it? Oh, man, sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, my God. Sometimes I wish I could find a Kangaskhan. Okay, well, I was going to say Tauros, but... Since you're here... Oh. Oh, since you're here again, why don't you call the Tauros to come back? I have a feeling these Pokeballs are actually repeat balls. They seem to... Sorry, this is all Generation 3 talk. If you're only here to watch the Generation 1, well, I'm sorry, but I play all generations of Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon X, like, in my spare time. On the train and shit to school. I've been breeding Pokemon. So I finally found a fucking Ditto, so now I can breed all those Pokemon and fill out the Pokedex. Actually! I was chatting to some dude uh, on the train. I've never met him before, but he was a really nice guy because he helped this old lady actually get off the train. I don't know if she was old, but she was Asian, so she was just as confused. That's not a racist thing. No joke, the Asians have so much trouble on trains. I don't understand why. It's not racism. It's still it's a generalization, yes, but... Well, not really. I was referring to old, elderly Asian ladies. Uh, I'm just going to stop. This hole's getting too big as it is. Point is, he helped her off the train, so I consider him a really good guy. And then he was watching me play the 3DS, and then he was like, What are you playing? I'm like, Oh, Pokemon, and then we're talking about it. And he's into the he's into the competitive playing, apparently, and you know, breeding. He said he was collecting shiny Pokemon. Now, quite honestly, I'd prefer to fill out the Pokedex and try to fucking catch shiny Pokemon. I mean, I've, I got a shiny Remoraid on that game, I just, it was by luck, I was just fishing for, I think a Mantyke. You probably don't know what these are, that doesn't matter. I caught a shiny Remoraid, which is a fish Pokemon, you'll see it if I do, if I end up doing the Let's Play of Crystal, you'll see it, and I most likely will. So I got a shiny one of them, there's a Tauros, and he was telling me that he collects shiny Pokemon, sorry, I'm just cracking my wrist, it's starting to hurt. Oh, it ran away. How predictable. And, um... Yeah, it was just interesting. I've never really... Like, I... I like, I watch... I've watched competitive battlers on YouTube and stuff, and, you know, like, that's what they do. I've never met one, though. Like, one who will actually train his Pokemon up. Or hers, or its. It doesn't matter who it is. It's not being gender-specific. Point is, they breed their Pokemon to get the right fucking natures, and then they train them up. I don't... I couldn't do that. Well, I'm... Spoiler alert, um, if we ever get to the Emerald Let's Play, a little bit of that will be happening for the Battle Frontier, only a little bit. Anyway, back to business, um, so yeah, so it was interesting talking to him, and if he's ever watching this and probably remembers this, I don't know if he will, I th he seemed like the sort of spontaneous, relaxed, go-lucky sort of guy, so he probably doesn't remember this too well. But that was me on the train that one time. <laughs> so I hope you did very well in your life. And I hope you're winning your Pokemon battles. See what I mean? I'm giving shout outs to strangers. Why? Because I'm so fucking bored. This Tauros can go fuck itself. No, I'm not going any further in this game until we get it. For some reason, my body's shivering. Why the hell is my body shivering? What the fuck is this body? Why are you shivering? It's not even cold. It's hot in here. Am I getting sick? Oh, no. Sorry. Why am I talking to my... <laughs> it's like I'm in a good mood and I'm doing something I know that's going to get me upset, so I'm purposely trying to avoid the negative emotions. <laughs> Why is my body feeling like this? It's like... 
It's more tingling, it's not shivering, it's tingling. My cheeks are all tingly. Oh my god. Can the Kangaskhans get the fuck out of the Tauros hole? Tauros hole. Tauros patch of grass. Oh man, I don't know what the hell's going on with me right now. I think I'm more concerned about the tingling in my cheeks and wrist than I am in the getting English right. Oh man, this tingling's weird. I'm gonna throw a ball. I'm feeling pretty courageous. I feel like this tingling is a gift from God. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, well, well, you know, it's not running away, so let's throw a rock at it and... Will it run? Oh, it's not gonna run! Okay, throw a ball, throw a ball, come on, throw a ball. Oh, yeah, you stay in it, you fucking piece of shit. Oh my God, it's gonna run, isn't it? Oh, you fucking Taurus whore! <laughs> tingling won't stop! I feel like it's a good thing. If I drop dead from a heart attack and never upload this, I'm sorry. my god, it's intensifying. Maybe I'm on a nerve? Maybe my wrist is on a nerve. I'm gonna change sitting positions. Lying down positions, sorry. Oh! Alright, so while we're here, let's talk about that, uh, that recording session, huh? The one with no volume. Well, it, it did have a fair bit of volume. I think the volume worked okay. But once I got the volume working fine, it was more the problem of everything out of sync. And I mean, my voice would be one second, like, I think, hmm, one second quicker than the video, and the, um, the game noise would be two seconds quicker than the video. So, for some reason, the video just fell so far behind. And I'm not sure what to make of it, but um, that's what happens. Let's, let's keep throwing balls. Let's see what happens when I keep throwing balls. Right, let's keep throwing balls. All right, well, let's keep let's keep. Oh, okay. I wish this Kangaskhan would fuck off because they seem to be taking the luck I have. For the, I need the for the Tauruses. Oh, can you fuck off, please? No one likes you. Thank you. I rock at those things and they run away. Like the Tauros, which I wish the Tauros wouldn't do, but of course they're gonna do. Well, the tingling has seemed to have s stayed there, actually. Never mind, I'm gonna keep doing this. Holy shit! A fucking Tauros! Come on, my shivering, my tingling must be for a reason, no? Venomoth, you can suck my dick. Oh, cool, a Kangaskhan. How about you fuck off, Kangaskhan? No one likes you. See, the method works fine, I think, as long as the Pokemon fucking stays. That's the problem. The Pokemon don't stay. That's where bait is useful, I guess, but as soon as you throw three bait and then you throw a rock, doesn't matter what number of bait you've got, once you throw that rock, it restarts the counter, so it's... Eh, pointless. It's not like they stack, it's not like you throw three baits and a rock, it's you either throw a bait or you throw a rock. And if you throw two baits, that's fine, if you throw three baits, that's fine. But as soon as you throw a rock, that's it. The count is restarted. I'm gonna stop running around and do this. It's hurting my wrist holding down the fast forward. Maybe that's why I'm all tingly. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing, maybe that's the sign. The sign to find two do-duos in a row, which is not really what I want, but whatever. Yep, walking around the square. Like I, I was gonna say earlier, did I end up saying earlier? I don't know if I was going to say earlier. But, um, yeah, 100 episodes, huh? I honestly didn't think we'd make it to 100. I thought, well, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't be stuck in the Safari Zone for so many, but... Oh, well, we're stuck in the Safari Zone for so many, so... Fucking awesome. <laughs> um... If I caught this Tauros... I really... we could just finish it right now. We could finish that Let's Play so easily. We're so close to finishing. The Tauros is what's holding us back, and I don't want the Tauros to be our last Pokémon we get. So the Tauros needs to be gotten now. Before we get any further. I actually wanted to do it before the Porygon, but then I thought, what happens if I use up too much money, not realizing, and then have to go battle the Pokémon League again to get enough for the fucking Tauros and the, t uh, the Porygon and the TMs? And I'm like, no, thank you. I don't want to do that. I prefer to be run into the ground, poor, from the Safari Zone, than not have enough coins for a Porygon. 
I can always sell those Ultra Balls and... Uh... I'm going to try some... Uh, am I... Hmm. No, I'm just going to throw a rock. Doesn't matter. I'll find another one in like 10 years and bait it. Oh, it ran away. Alright, well let's... Next one we find, I'm going to throw some bait. I am going to throw some bait to the little bugger. Little bugger. Jeez, I'm turning down my swearing. You are a fucking asshole. Alright, cool. You're a fucking bitch, Taurus. Stay. Oh, Taurus, you are such a motherfucker. I missed. Oh, he ran away. Oh. I actually thought he liked the insults. How did I miss? I thought it restarted the fucking counter. I hate this game. I hate this fucking game. Ding dong yourself, you stupid bitch. I don't give a shit about you or your feelings or your kids. I'm going to assume you have kids. I'm also going to assume your wife has left you and you're stuck with the kids. And they're not nice kids, they're bad kids. That's right. I took it that I took it that far to insult that guy because I'm pretty much paying for his child support. If he doesn't have the kids. If he does have the kids, well, now I'm just spoiling them rotten, pretty much. My gosh. Okay, well, I'm gonna throw some bait. Yeah, right to the Joey. Right to the Joey's face. I'm gonna throw some more bait. Yeah, right to the Joey's face. Do you like that, Joey? Yep. Yeah, right to the Joey's face. The mum ain't getting any. The mum can fuck off. I'm gonna throw a ball. Missed. Throw another ball. Alright, missed. Yeah, very good. Oh, he ran away. Well, good. Hopefully he tells the Tauros how awesome the food is over here. Oh, cool! It worked! And now the Tauros are coming. I right, have this one, you fucking idiot. Oh, well. Hopefully he doesn't tell his friends. Hopefully he ran for his life and didn't tell his friends I'm throwing rocks at him now. I've turned around. I've, I've switched. I've switched totally from... Now, my bag of food has run out, so I've, I've gone back to throwing rocks at people. Back in the Stone Ages. Throwing rocks at bulls. There is no way in this world that's a good idea. You throw a rock at a bull, I'm pretty sure it's going to fucking kill you. But, you know, whatever. I haven't really done it before. 